Hey guys, how's it going? Arnold here, also known as Murder of Birds. Long time no see, of course. It has been a while since I have sat down and recorded a video uh, dedicated specifically to my YouTube audience. Um, I know a lot of time has passed. Uh, my hiatus is officially over at this point, and I felt like it was time for us to sit down and catch up on a lot of things regarding the channel, uh, my status, where I've been, what you guys can look forward to in the future, and the like. Uh, and honestly, I haven't done a video. I haven't recorded a video in a while. So this might be a little rough uh, It's been a couple of months since I've actually done a video format like this because I've particularly been streaming So everything's on the fly uh, So I do have like a bit of a format that I want to go here I actually have notes that I written like bullet points so I can keep things in order and whatnot But I hope you guys have all been well uh, I know that there are some of you guys out there who feel neglected that feel um, you know that the content you subscribed for isn't what you guys are getting and I don't want that to be the case for anybody um, As well as the fact that I'm a little disappointed in myself for the sake of Why people feel that way? I know why people feel that way and I'm somewhat a, a contribution to that and I will explain that in a second But uh, for, for those of you guys who are wondering this video I'm gonna primarily focus on three major topics. They're gonna be things sprinkled here and there Hopefully it's not that long of a video, but this is a major update that I want everyone to hear I feel like it's something that you guys want to hear you guys should hear and as well as Information that I want to get across to you guys So the three major things that I'm gonna be talking about in this video is going to be regarding Ruby content uh, past present and future uh, Red versus blue content especially uh, regarding you know my continuations of my reactions and reviews to the series And what you guys can expect from that moving forward as well as gaming content because I'm pretty sure some of you guys have seen the content that I've been putting out uh, you know whenever I stream like I've been mainly playing persona for the last couple of months Obviously I uploaded my uh, my playthrough series of Shadow of the Colossus and Super Mario Odyssey and gaming content will be sprinkled here and there on the channel moving forward once I get back into the full groove of uploading consistently uh, here on the channel so I'm gonna pull up my <laughs> my notepad that I have here because like I said it's been a while uh, and I do apologize that it's not like the normal kind of go and flow that I'm used to um, but again I have to kind of get back in the step I'm a little rusty as a youtuber I will admit so the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the initial hiatus uh, why it's been so long since I've been gone uh, where my mind has been at and where my headspace has been at in terms of coming back and content that you guys can look forward to because I do feel like some people have been detached some people don't know the situation some people have seen the posts that I've made on the YouTube uh, you know the the comment uh, the community tab some people saw that that text-based video that I made regarding my hiatus after volume 5 some people you know follow me on Twitter so they know there but the vast majority of my user of my you know my viewership doesn't really understand or know so uh ruby volume 5 officially ended um in january january 27th i believe is when the last episode went up on youtube uh for the finale of chapter 14 and that was almost three months ago <clears throat> i officially announced my hiatus uh on february 1st when i uploaded my ruby volume 5 reference and trivia video which took a really 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 long time to do right and I think the initial thing that started off this hiatus was Ruby Volume 5 in general. Uh, I was working really, really hard ever since, you know, following RTX with the Weiss character short, following into the Blade character short in September, and then, you know, the Yang character short in Volume 5, and all of the news and information, the interviews, the commentaries, uh, you know, the events, and, you know, the Q&A sessions, and all of the work that I did from as early as September all the way through to, um, to January was... was an experience that I, I put more work into my channel than I've ever done with Ruby Volume 5. Um, at any given point, you guys were getting reactions, reviews, live stream discussions, and the occasional dank memes uh, weekly. So you guys were basically getting three to four videos per week over the course of four months. And that's something that I've never really had to struggle and force myself to do. Like, uh, I was always either recording something, uh, scripting something, editing something, uh, you know, prepping for something. And the content was great and I was really really proud and I was really happy with it and I For the first time in nearly five years that I've had my YouTube channel. I hit a ceiling um, I hit a point where me as a solo individual person making content on YouTube I realized I can't do any more than this and Usually every year I try to look for new ways to add to the formula of my channel like 
you know, volume three was just reactions. Volume four was reactions and live stream discussions. Volume five was reactions, live stream discussions, reviews, news and information videos, as well as dank meme videos. And I realized that I had hit a ceiling for the first time in my life on my channel. I was legitimately stressed out to the point where I was literally like losing sleep. I had not seen my friends or family in weeks and I, I was reaching a stage of burnout. And there were two major instances where that burnout occurred, Christmas and Thanksgiving. Around those times, and thank God those were the two weeks, like one week, I think it was the Thanksgiving break, we got a Ruby Chibi episode instead of a Ruby episode, if I'm not mistaken. And so I was really, really, really relieved. I was like, oh my God, I can actually spend this next weekend kind of recuperating. I went away for Thanksgiving. I came back, got back into the step of things. And then the burnout started to occur again a month later for Christmas. And then thankfully they had a, a holiday break. So I didn't even have to worry about it at that point. And then I came back and I finished volume five. And I'm so, I love Ruby. You guys already know the deal with, with how I feel about the series and the characters and, you know, the fact that it's what got me into the Rooster Teeth community and it's something that I love and I love creating content and I love the support you guys give me for it but and I've never felt this way about it and I like I said I love the show to death and I'm always saddened when Ruby goes away but a part of me was sad that it was going away but a big part of me was so glad that it was ending volume 4 I'm sorry volume 5 chapter 14 when that episode finished and I put out my last reaction I was so fucking happy that it was done because then like it was like a major weight was lifted off of my shoulders. I was under so much stress and pressure to maintain my weekly quota, my weekly status quo of a reaction, a review, a live stream discussion and a dank meme weekly. Four videos per week over, you know, 16 weeks I think it was. And I have never, I never reached that point before. And all of that accumulated to the point where the second I hit upload on my Ruby reference video, which took me like 40 something hours to make, and it took like two to three weeks to put together. The second I hit upload on that video, I said to myself, I'm done. I don't want to look at my YouTube channel. I don't want to hear the word Ruby. I don't want to do another reaction video. I don't, I don't want to do it. I want to do something completely different. I want to get away from my channel for a bit because I, I had reached that ceiling. I had reached the point where I couldn't do more than I wanted and more so than ever. I had, I had hit a, like the burnout kind of came in full effect because I endured it throughout volume five to the point where, where it ended, I was just like, fuck it. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Uh, I need a break and the break was only supposed to last February right so Ruby ended in January 20th and February the entire month of February was when I was supposed to you know take my break I was like okay I'm gonna get back to streaming I had bought my Nintendo switch during volume 5 and I wasn't able to play it I, and that's another thing too I wasn't able to hang out with friends I wasn't able to see my mom or my brother the only time I saw them during Ruby volume 5 was on Christmas because I was so swamped with work and I felt like I had to be on top of everything and people were expecting a lot out of me and so I was like, screw it, I'm, I'm not going to play video games, I couldn't hang out with friends, I wasn't seeing my family as much, and I was just solely focused on Ruby. And when Ruby ended, I was like, I'm going to do all the stuff I couldn't do when Ruby was out. I, I played so many video games, I was like, I'm going to focus heavily on Twitch, I'm going to start streaming a lot more, because that, you know, I don't want to be like a couch potato, I don't want to be like not making content just because I'm not on YouTube. So I focused all of my attention on Twitch, and most of you guys, you know, some of you guys out there have supported me on Twitch. Uh, even though it's not what you initially subscribe to here on the channel, if you've subscribed to only Ruby or only Red vs. Blue or any content that I make, I'm still very grateful for people who have enjoyed the, the you know, the Twitch streams that I've been doing consistently. Uh, I recently got partnered because of that, because I've been so on the ball with streaming and being consistent and having a really large fan base and, you know, uh, you know, community of people who support what I do over on Twitch with gaming. And transitioning over to Twitch was something that I honestly needed. I, I didn't want to just stop making content altogether, but at the same time, I didn't want to force myself to get back into, um, you know, into Red vs. Blue and YouTube stuff. And that's why it took so long because, and this is where I'm talking about, like, I feel like I'm at fault for why people feel neglected and feel like there are broken promises being made. Because I specifically said, I'm going to be returning to Red vs. Blue late March, early April. Well... To be completely honest with you guys, the reason why I said that is because ever since Ruby Volume 5 ended, 
there has not been a single day that has passed where someone hasn't asked me when's red versus blue did you forget about red versus blue hey when are you getting to season eight i can't wait for you to get to season eight please let me know hey you know what's the update on red versus blue and it was as if people didn't realize that i just put in weeks and months of effort into ruby volume 5 hundreds of hours of streaming recording uh editing and uploading content on a weekly basis four three to four videos minimum and people were still expecting me to go without a break and then ruby chibi was starting right after volume 5 ended and i was like fuck that i can't be bothered with ruby chibi right now it's not that serious i know it's very i know it's like a very fun and easy you know happy go lucky show so i don't really feel the need to jump into ruby chibi right after volume 5 especially after all i did with volume 5 so i decided to forego volume 5 i still needed to finish up volume 2 i'm sorry not volume 5 i decided to forego ruby chibi season 3 and um ended up kind of deciding hey i'm just gonna get back to that when i'm back from my hiatus and you know all that ended up going down but I gave people a word and I told people late March, early April, late March, early April came and I still, personally, I still was not ready to get back to it. I was like, I like doing Twitch, I, I need a little bit more time and I feel like that is where things started to get a little, um, I guess a little rambunctious with some people who felt like they were being neglected, that felt like that they subscribed and they're not getting the content they subscribe for and that's completely fine. But at the same time, I wanted people to still understand and realize that, A, it's my channel, and I understand you guys support it, but at the same time, if I'm not up to something, I'm not going to force myself to get through to something simply because, you know, simply because I've already started it. You know, I want to take my time. I like to let things marinate. I'm obviously going to get back, you know, I'm obviously going to rewatch all of the stuff that I missed out on when I get back to it, and I just need a little bit of time. And so I focus my attention on Twitch. And since being on Twitch, I have finished all of the Kingdom Hearts games. The last five titles that I needed to get through, I finished all of those. We did a Kingdom Hearts 3 stream. Uh, I platinum. I started and platinumed uh, the Crash Bandicoot 2 uh, remastered game. Uh, I finished Shadow of the Colossus. That's up on YouTube. I finished Super Mario Odyssey. That's up on YouTube. Uh, I played half of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I'm getting back to. I raged in getting over it with Bennett Foddy. That's up on the channel as well. Uh, we did a Nintendo Direct with viewers watching it all together, and I'm planning on doing that again with E3. Uh, I'm, I'm almost done with Persona 5. I'm 114 hours. I've been playing it for the last two months. And of course, I got partnered on Twitch, which is basically like the high echelons of being able to basically support yourself financially and kind of make Twitch streaming like a full-time thing. And that's similar to what I'm doing here on YouTube, and I kind of expanded it over to gaming, which is mainly what I'm go gonna be doing over on Twitch. And every so often, you guys will get a game brought over to YouTube um, to kind of expand the content here so it's not just Ruby and Red versus Blue related. Um, but yeah, so like that's where initially a lot of the initial hiatus came from was Ruby Volume 5 was just sucked the life out of me. And the second it ended, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do something fun, something exciting, because that's the whole reason why I went all in on, on, on YouTube, right? In 2016, when I quit my job and I went all in on YouTube and I went up on Patreon and people supported me, the big reason why I did that was because I wanted something new. I wanted something exciting. Working, you know, I, I know what it's like. I've worked a six to two shift. I've worked a three to 11 shift. I've worked a 10 to six shift. I know what it's like to go to work every day and do the exact same thing like you're a goddamn robot and I fucking hated that and the beauty and the blessing of being able to make content on YouTube and stream on Twitch and being able to do what I love is literally why I am so grateful for everyone for being able to support me and believe in me and allow me to be able to do this and that's what volume 5 felt like I felt like I was in a mundane routine same old same old same old same old day in and day out week in and week out month in and month out and when it ended, I was like, no, I need something different. So um, I'm obviously going to be reevaluating things for volume six. I still want the format to continue as 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 it, as it is. But uh, I, I feel like time management is something I need to work on a little bit better. Also, deciding what's worth putting up and what's not work, worth working on is another thing to keep my sanity for volume six, because it's only going to get bigger and better, right? Volume six, I'm assuming is going to be better than volume five. There's going to be more things added, more things to talk about, more things to discuss, more things to theorize, more videos and content to be made. And I don't want to ever reach this burnout again. And I, I, for that, I am genuinely sorry. And I genuinely apologize for people who have felt like they've been left in the dark. Now, with those two things being said, um, 
the last thing that I kind of want to talk about since I kind of went through the U the Ruby thing and the, the Twitch thing is red versus blue. So I know there's a lot of you guys out there who subscribe to my channel for Rooster Teeth based content, Ruby, Ruby Chibi, red versus blue. You know, those three series are the main series that a lot of people on the channel subscribe to. And there is a small portion of people who have only subscribed to my channel for RVB content. So those people in particular are the ones who are getting absolutely nothing out of me as of right now. You know, I stream on Twitch, that's not what they subbed for. I put Ruby content up, that's not what they subbed for. And I, I understand that that's not what they subbed for, but at the same time, I can't really just cater to that specific individual audience because like I said I want to be able to do different things I don't want to be you know a one-trick pony I don't want to be doing the same things over and over and over again but at the same time like I said I gave people my word of a specific time reference and then they you know that time came and went and I can understand why people would be upset so for that again I am truly sorry for feeling like you guys were let on or feeling like I wasn't taking it seriously it's just a matter of you know, personally, I wanted to focus on other things and I wanted to just kind of get that spark back before I came back into the mix. I am never, and I, I want you guys to kind of take this away crystal clear, I am never, ever, ever going to watch something or produce a video or a stream if I do not feel up to it. And I, I feel like for that, it, it's mainly based on the fact of like, I want my reactions to be genuine. I don't want to have to force anything. I don't want to have to push myself through a video when I know deep down in my heart I don't want to do it or a stream that I really do I don't want to do it just because there are people who have expectations of me. And I know as I grow bigger and bigger that's going to have to become the status quo because you know people are supporting me and people are expecting things and if things aren't met that's when you start losing viewer base that's when you start losing loyalty and I don't want that to be the case. So. Um, for those individuals who have only subscribed to me for red versus blue again I am really sorry I don't want you guys to feel like I'm playing around or messing around with you guys or stringing you along with the intentions of not giving you guys the content you guys subscribe for as well as myself because season 16 just came out for RVB and I'm really looking forward to getting into that as well in due time of course but obviously I have to catch up to where I am now to get there so obviously I have to get on the ball with things so I do apologize for that but in regards to red versus blue I have just finished rewatching the entire series, seasons 1 through 7, as well as all of the miniseries. I have been doing a shit ton of research here regarding the, um, regarding the AI and the freelancers because apparently after season 7, you guys want to get a better look at that, because after season 7, uh, season, I'm sorry, after season 8, season 9 and 10 is Project Freelancer, which I'm pretty sure is going to focus heavily on the freelancers and the, and the AI components based on Project Freelancer, the director and everything like that. Might be current events, I feel like to an extent it might be a bit in the past since that's where the majority of Project Freelancer uh, happened compared to where we are now in the story, or compared to where I am in the story, because the chairman, I'm sorry, the director just got like disbanded from, you know, from the project. So I am doing my research, I am catching back up, I am fully back into the mindset of Red vs. Blue. Uh, just finished up season seven, and what I am going to do and this is something that I am actively, I am actively committing to moving forward, is I am recording this video right now at 3:44 p.m. on April 17th, 2018. That's a Tuesday, okay? Wednesday, I am streaming Persona 5. Thursday, I have a Ruby project that I'm working on that I can't talk about, and then Saturday and Sunday, I am streaming Persona 5 as well. I am on the final points of Persona 5. I'm probably I'm 114 hours in. I will finish Persona 5 by Sunday. So by Sunday, so let's see, what's today? Um, today's the 17th, so Sunday is the 22nd. So on the 22nd, Persona 5 will be done. Once Persona 5 is finished, I am taking a one-week break from Twitch streaming, and I'm going to solely focus on recording that entire week of Red vs. Blue, uh, Ruby news and information videos that I'm going to be getting out to you guys so you guys are informed. Uh, also, you know, there's a lot of stuff regarding Blaze Blue that I want to talk to you guys about. The Yang character, the Yang trailer for Blaze Blue will be out on the 19th, so I'm obviously going to be making videos for that as well. So from the 22nd to the 29th, I'm going to be recording videos solely for YouTube. None of them will be uploaded, but I will be recording videos. So the first week of May, and this is a promise to you guys, the first week of May is when Red vs. Blue videos will be coming back. 
the first red versus blue video that you guys are going to be getting on the channel is going to be my season 7 review and that's because immediately after finishing season 7 volume 5 started and I just rewatched it for the second time so I kind of want my overall thoughts to be out there uh, and I have a lot of things that I want to talk to about it regarding like the pacing of it and the change of flow and pace regarding action you know of season 6 transitioning to season 7 especially since it was directed by Gavin Free uh, which is the first time that it's been directed by someone other than Bernie so I kind of want to have that comparison of uh, a different director and a different approach regarding that so the first week of May is going to be uh, a season 7 review for red versus blue and then following that week is when season 8 reactions will kick back up and I kind of want you guys to be in the know about that more than anything um, the big thing that I do want you guys to know about and this is regarding red versus blue heavily is that between now and I think the end of summer the only red versus blue content that you guys are going to expect from me is going to be my reactions and reviews to seasons 8, 9, and 10. So I'm finishing up um, I'm finishing up the current arc and then I'm going to be starting and finishing uh, the freelancer project and the reason why I'm doing that is because at some point this year Rooster Teeth's new 3D animated series Genlock is going to be starting so I want to have a starting point and an ending point for red versus blue i don't want to have a starting point and then go on as long as i can until i can't anymore and then just drop the show and then pick it back up months later like i've done in the past so you guys will be at least able to expect seasons 8 9 and 10 out of the channel between now and the end of summer whenever genlock is announced and you know revealed to come out and then obviously following up with ruby volume 6 in the fall so um that's the big thing that I want you guys to take away. Season 7 reviews is going to be coming, reactions to Season 8, reviews to Season 8, reactions and reviews to Season 9, and Season 10 as well. Um, and that way, you guys can get a have an idea of what to expect over the next couple of weeks. Obviously, as well, you guys are going to be getting one reaction batch of videos per week. So it's going to be one review. I'm sorry, it's going to be one reaction with multiple episodes in it. I think... I think the videos all are going to be about 20 minutes based on the batches that I've already accumulated and it's going to be I think it's enough videos to last a few months so it's not like the three seasons that I'm giving you are going to last like a month and a half you guys are going to be getting a reaction video a week for the next couple of months leading into the summer and then at, obviously at RTX we'll find out a little bit more about Genlock the release date for that what to expect I want to do a reaction series to that I want to do a review series for that as well uh, the same way that I'm doing it for Red vs. Blue. Not so much like Ruby because Ruby is like a completely different beast. And I definitely want to focus uh, my attention and energy there. And uh, once, uh, you know, once that week has come and gone of me recording videos, then I'll be getting back to Twitch, uh, playing a lot of other games. The new God of War comes out for PS4 that I want to try that out. I need to get back to Breath of the Wild. Uh, Dark Souls Remastered comes out. Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle comes out. And that's with the Ruby characters. And I will be making videos and content both on Twitch and YouTube for the Ruby Girls, Ruby Weiss, Blake, and Yang. Uh, the Ruby episode that's going to be in the game. I have a few little neat videos that I kind of want to share with you guys as well regarding them. So I just want you guys to know about that as well. But yeah, uh, ultimately, um, that's kind of everything that I wanted to talk about. I feel like this video is going to be like, yeah, it's going to be like a good 20, 25 minute video. So I hope, hopefully you guys are able to make it through. So long story short, um, Ruby kind of kicked my ass. Ruby Volume 5 kicked my ass. I worked harder than I ever have on my channel with it. I know there's a few things that I have to perfect and craft uh, for Volume 6, so that way this doesn't happen again with Burnout. Uh, but at the end of the day, the Burnout kind of overtook me to where it took me a lot longer than I thought for me to get back on the ball with things here on the channel. And as a result, you know, I felt like some videos were being neglected. I felt like people felt like they were being neglected and abandoned and left in the dark with, uh, you know, the, the updates and things like that regarding, you know, what people subscribe to the channel for, you know? So, and I'm sorry that this is like a really boring video of me just rambling and talking about things that, you know, I feel like have been in the air for a while. Uh, but this is a general update video. I, I hope as many people watch it as possible. 
Uh, I'm going to put this up on Twitter. I'm going to put this in my Discord. I'm going to try to let as many people know of the update as possible. So that way everyone's on the same page and everybody knows what to expect over the next couple of months. So um, I'm going to be getting back from my, uh, you know, off of my hiatus. I'm going to be finishing up Persona 5 this week. Next week, I'm going to be recording the whole week. Uh, red versus blue videos news and information videos, etc The following week you guys will be getting a red versus blue season 7 review And then the week after that is when season 8 reactions will be kicking off which should be the second week of May if I'm not mistaken, it's gonna be May anyways uh, Thank you guys so much for uh, you know listening to what I have to say I hope you guys can understand if some of you guys are still upset I completely understand that if some of you guys feel like you'll wait and see what happens You're not gonna take my word for it. I completely understand you guys on that as well um actions speak louder than words so at the very end of the day once you guys see that upload i hopefully can um earn your trust and earn your loyalty back for those of you who have enjoyed the videos that i've made over the last few years um you know regarding the, the content that you guys enjoy watching and enjoy me experiencing for the first time so uh, again thank you guys so much for your support um share this with as many people as you can let people know um that things are going to be kind of taking a turn back for the channel um and i will see you guys very very soon for the next couple of videos thank you guys so much and uh, enjoy the rest of your day take care